The title of this section is Forming Clinical Questions with PICO, which sounds like a foreign language I know, so let's break it down. First of all, what is a clinical question? Essentially, a clinical question is any question that arises during clinical practice. Let's think of a clinical scenario like the one here. You enjoy working with pediatric patients out in community settings, like health clinics and medical practices. You know that obesity rates have gone up in recent years, and you're wondering if there's anything you can do during well visits to address obesity. What would you do next? Think about it. Where would you search for information to address this scenario? Some of you may have thought, I'll search the internet for this information. I'll Google it. Google is a great search engine, but it is not the best tool for this question because it is going to pull back a lot of results, and you are going to have to spend time wading through those results to find the good and bad sources. You can also see that I have just typed my question into Google, and glancing at the results, there's a bunch of information which may or may not be helpful. Let me show you a better way to approach finding information to answer this question. We are going to use this technique called forming a PICO question. Why use PICO? PICO helps you form a focused question that will return relevant search results. It helps you retrieve a manageable amount of results. It assists you in brainstorming keywords for your search, and it saves a lot of time. PICO is an acronym. P stands for patient, I stands for intervention, C stands for comparison, and O stands for outcome. Let's start with the patient. What you want to do is think about your situation and try to describe one of the patients in this situation. I have read through the scenario again and have highlighted in red the parts of our situation that describe the patients. We're working with kids or pediatric patients. We know that they are patients who visit health clinics, which is a different population than patients who are in hospital and is an important piece to pull out. Finally, since we are discussing obesity, they are most likely obese children. Based on this descriptive information, the patients we are discussing in a clinical question are obese children in primary care settings. Do not get too hung up on the wording, just pull out aspects of the patient that are important to you. I stands for intervention. If you do not understand what intervention means yet, that's okay. You will talk about what nursing interventions are in nursing school. A few examples of nursing interventions are dressing wounds, dispensing medications, patient education, that kind of thing. Basically, the things you do every day as a nurse to help your clients. The initial scenario states anything you can do during these visits to address obesity. That is pretty broad, so we're going to focus it down and make it specific. You can choose any type of intervention, so I'm going to focus on patient education. Our comparison is a comparison intervention. Sometimes we are comparing our intervention against no intervention at all. For example, comparing patient education to doing nothing. Or it could be any other intervention. Maybe a different question we could work on is seeing if one medication is more effective than another. Or if feeding our patients apples makes them lose weight more than feeding them bananas. In this case, I am going to compare patient education to doing nothing at all. Finally, we want to define our outcome. What do we want to change as a result of our intervention? Work on being as specific as possible. An outcome that is too vague sounds something like, the patient gets better. How exactly do we know the patient is getting better? Better outcomes might be things we can measure, like weight or blood pressure. It can be something that we can observe, like defining exactly how we want a wound to look as it heals. Or it can be something the patient reports to us, which we then record in the patient chart. That is the outcome that I am going to use for this case. I am going to say that pediatric patients are coming into my clinic and I am giving them and their families patient education. What I hope to happen is that they come back for another well visit and tell me what they have been doing, some sort of behavior that can lead to weight loss. For example, maybe they have started exercising, maybe they have improved their diet, something along those lines. We have pulled out the patient, intervention, comparison, and outcome for our situation. Now, like Jeopardy, we want to put it in the form of a question. To do this, take the elements you have listed up above using PICO and think about how to word all these elements so that you can formulate a question. This is how I would construct this question. In obese children in primary care settings, can patient education encourage behaviors that lead to weight loss? That's it! We have used the acronym PICO to form a clinical question. That was just a quick example of forming a clinical question using PICO. 
If you do not quite understand it, don't worry, because later in nursing school you will go through a module on this subject to get hands-on practice with it. This module is located on Nursing Guide.